Hello, I'm Brian Richards. I'm a former electrical engineer and now consultant to engineering firms on staff retention solutions and owner exit strategies. It is no secret that Australia is facing a critical engineering skills shortage. As an interested participant and someone who wants to help the main parties bring attention to these challenges, I've prepared a series of short videos with each one looking at an aspect of this situation. Even more attention appears to be warranted as this is a challenge that is negatively impacting not only our engineering industry but indeed our nation. I hope you find these videos of value and if you do please share them with others to bring much needed attention to this important issue. When we use the term engineering skills shortage probably the first thing we should do is define our terms. So in this video we'll look at the term engineering and essentially provide a definition so that we have clarity around which part of this enormous field uh, we are focusing on in this video series. So the question we're asking, to whom are we referring by engineering or engineers? And in other words, what is the definition that we are going to apply? Let's go to uh, one of the primary sources, Engineers Australia, and look at the definition of engineering that Engineers Australia uses. Engineering is the art and science of production very pragmatic activity that draws on a range of skills and attributes including education, training and experience to apply science, mathematics and practical experience to design and operate useful objects and or processes that meet the needs and expectations of people. So that gives us an idea of the, the particular tasks and activities uh, that people are engaging in. Let's break this down a little bit further and talk about I suppose how we can take a very complex field, uh, an area that's getting more complex by the day it seems, with new disciplines being created almost as we go because of the demands of society, the demands of the industry, the demands of progress. What we want to do in this video series is to try and take that very complex field and focus on two primary groupings of engineers. The first grouping we could call engineering construction and of course that has a whole range of subgroups uh, or, or other sectors that we might basically bring under that umbrella term of engineering construction to try and simplify uh, our uh, discussion as we go forward. The other broad group we could call engineering consultancy services and you can see uh, a range of subsectors there. So that's, that's an artificial uh, division but it may help us as we go forward to uh, uh, discuss various areas of these uh, these two primary uh, groups. Another way of looking at um, these definitional uh, issues is to take the ENSCO uh, set of classifications. Now this is quite an overwhelming screen, I just put it up, but it does highlight a couple of things. One is of course the incredible diversity of sub-disciplines within this broad category of uh, engineering professionals. Um, and within that we have a range of uh, managers, uh, technologists and so on. It, it highlights another very important aspect of this video series and that's the fact that even though we're using engineering as one uh, umbrella term, it's very clear that we should also be including in this discussion a couple of aligned sectors, in particular of course uh, architecture and surveying, which um, even though they are disciplines in their own right, are very much uh, tied in with and related to some of the issues that we find in the engineering sector as a whole. So let's try and break this down a little bit. We are looking primarily in this video series of engineering professionals. So what we are focused on are particularly those engineers who have uh, tertiary qualifications. So normally a bachelor's degree and it's about 84% who, who come into that category. Uh, but we're also looking at uh, groups like engineering technologists and so on. So in essence we're looking at tertiary degrees or at least some sort of advanced uh, diploma. When we look at that breakdown, it's a very similar uh, list to the one we saw previously. Again, picking up, I guess, those, those couple of aligned uh, disciplines and professions like architecture and surveying. But when you look at that group as a whole, even though there are lists that show we could have up to 300,000 or so engineers in Australia, the normal um, 
figure I'm, I'm seeing in most of the surveys and so on is a figure somewhere around that 230,000 uh, professional engineers in Australia. So hopefully that gives us an idea of what is the primary focus of this video series and we'll look uh, behind these figures and break them down a little bit more detail in, uh, in other videos. This video is one of a series of more than 20 similar short videos highlighting the various core issues behind Australia's current engineering skills shortage. To see the others, just go to www.engineeringskillsshortage.com for the access details. Thank you, and once again, if you see value in these videos, please share them with others to bring attention to these important issues.